Welcome, Rare Gems. Being a true lone wolf isn't about simply enjoying your own company or preferring a quiet life. It's about something much deeper, a lifestyle shaped by independence, resilience, and a constant challenge to the norms that most people take for granted. If you've ever felt out of place in social circles, resisted the pressures to conform, or found that solitude isn't just a preference but a necessity, you might be more of a lone wolf than you realize. In this exploration, here are some telltale signs that you're not just a solitary soul, but a genuine lone wolf who excels in navigating life with a unique sense of autonomy. Let's get started. I encourage you to watch to the end for better understanding. Starting with number 10, you weaponize your observations. When you observe the world around you, you're not just taking in the sights and sounds like everyone else. You're quietly gathering data picking up on patterns, reading between the lines, and storing that information for when it really matters. Your observations aren't passive. They're tools in your arsenal. You notice the small details others overlook, how someone's body language betrays their true feelings, or how a situation might unfold based on the subtle cues you've picked up. But here's the thing. You don't just collect this information for the sake of understanding you use it strategically. Whether it's in navigating a tricky conversation, avoiding a potential conflict, or simply getting what you need without making a fuss, your ability to analyze people and situations gives you an edge. It's like playing chess in your mind, always thinking a few moves ahead, ensuring you're prepared for whatever comes next. This isn't manipulation, it's survival. It's your way of maintaining control in a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable. You don't just react to the world. You shape your response based on what you've observed, turning insights into action. Number 9. You are unapologetically selective. When it comes to letting people into your life, you don't just open the door for anyone. Socializing isn't something you do just to fill time or meet expectations. You're incredibly selective about who gets close to you, and it's not because you're antisocial, it's because you value quality over quantity. You understand that your time and energy are limited and you refuse to waste them on shallow connections or people who don't truly add value to your life. You don't apologize for this, either. You've learned that not everyone deserves a place in your world and you're perfectly fine with keeping your circle small. When you do choose to engage, it's on your own terms, and with people who genuinely matter to you. You're not afraid to say no or walk away when someone doesn't meet your standards and you don't lose sleep over it. This isn't about arrogance. It's about knowing your worth and protecting your peace. In a world that often pushes for endless social interactions, you stand firm in your selectiveness, and that's what makes your connections meaningful and your life more fulfilling. Number 8. Self-Invented Rituals you create your own rituals, not because anyone told you to, but because they're essential to how you live. These personal routines are entirely self-invented, free from tradition or social norms. They're not just habits. They're meaningful practices that reflect your inner world and help you maintain balance and focus in your daily life. These rituals might seem strange or unnecessary to others, but for you, they hold deep significance. Whether it's how you start your mornings, the way you unwind after a long day, or even the specific order in which you do things, these routines are a reflection of your individuality. They provide structure in a world that often feels chaotic and help you stay connected to your true self. These idiosyncratic practices are like anchors, grounding you when everything else feels uncertain. They might be small, personal acts, but they're powerful in the way they shape your day. You don't follow them out of obligation or habit. You engage in them because they bring you a sense of peace, purpose, and control. In a world where so much is dictated by outside influences, your self-invented rituals are a testament to your autonomy. They remind you that you're the architect of your life, and that, no matter what's happening around you, you have your own ways of navigating it. Number 7. You don't aim for happiness, you aim for peace. For you, happiness isn't the ultimate goal. You've come to realize that society's definition of happiness, chasing after momentary pleasures, constant excitement, or a never-ending pursuit of more, 
just doesn't resonate with you. Instead, you aim for something deeper, inner peace. Inner peace isn't about being joyful all the time. It's about feeling centered, even when things are tough. It's about accepting life's ups and downs without getting caught up in the emotional roller coaster that many people chase. You've learned that true peace often requires embracing discomfort, facing difficult truths, and sometimes walking a path that others might find lonely or challenging. You don't get distracted by short-term pleasures or superficial goals. You know that real fulfillment comes from within, from understanding yourself and staying true to what matters most to you. This approach doesn't always look like traditional happiness, but it gives you a sense of calm and stability that others envy. While the world rushes around seeking the next thrill, you stand grounded, content with finding peace in a world full of noise. Thank you for being a valued subscriber. We truly appreciate your continued support. Your engagement means a lot to us and inspires us to keep delivering the best content possible. Number six, you're a minimalist of energy. You approach life with a sharp focus on conserving your energy. Every decision, interaction, and thought is filtered through a lens of necessity. You don't waste time on people who drain you, tasks that don't add value, or thoughts that clutter your mind. Your life is stripped down to the essentials, not because you're avoiding responsibility, but because you understand the importance of directing your energy where it truly matters. This minimalist approach isn't just about reducing clutter, it's about maximizing your impact. You've learned that mental and emotional energy are finite resources and you manage them with precision. You don't get caught up in trivial drama, unnecessary obligations or distractions that pull you away from your goals. Instead, you channel your energy into what truly counts whether it's meaningful work, personal growth, or the few relationships you've chosen to invest in. To others, this might seem ruthless or even detached, but for you, it's a way of life that keeps you centered and efficient. You know exactly where your energy is going, and you don't feel the need to justify it. By cutting out the noise, you ensure that every move you make is deliberate and every action serves a purpose. This isn't just a strategy. It's your way of living fully, without letting the unnecessary drag you down. Number five, silence is your sanctuary. For you, silence isn't just a break from the noise, it's a refuge. While many people fill their lives with constant chatter, distractions, and background noise to avoid facing their own thoughts, you embrace the quiet. Silence isn't something to be feared. It's where you find clarity, recharge, and connect with yourself on a deeper level. In those quiet moments, you can think freely without outside influence, and that's where your best ideas and deepest reflections come to life. Noise, whether it's the literal hum of everyday life or the metaphorical buzz of social pressures, feels like a burden to you. You're not running away from the world, but rather creating space where you can truly be yourself, without the constant pull of external demands. Silence to you isn't emptiness. It's fullness. It's where you process, heal, and plan your next move. It's where you find strength in stillness and purpose in peace. And while others may dread the quiet, you cherish it, knowing it's not just peaceful but essential to your well-being. Number four, you experience deep cognitive dissonance. For you, life isn't simple or straightforward. You constantly find yourself wrestling with conflicting thoughts, and that's because you see the world in a way most people don't. Being a lone wolf isn't just about being independent or choosing a solitary path. It's about navigating the complex, often messy terrain of your own mind. You question everything. The beliefs society holds, the values people cling to, even your own decisions, nothing escapes your scrutiny. This deep cognitive dissonance where your thoughts often clash with one another isn't a sign of confusion but a reflection of how deeply you engage with life. You're not content with surface-level understanding. You dig deeper, even when it's uncomfortable. This constant questioning can be exhausting, but it's also what sets you apart. You don't accept things at face value. You challenge the very foundation of reality, exploring not just what's in front of you, but what lies beneath it. You're always seeking to understand your place in the world, and that search often leads to conflicting ideas and difficult choices. But rather than shy away from this mental friction, you embrace it. 
You know that growth comes from challenging your own thoughts, and you're not afraid to confront the paradoxes within yourself. This deep inner struggle is what keeps you sharp, self-aware, and ultimately true to who you are. Number three, you are completely self-sufficient. You're completely self-sufficient, and that's not just a trait, it's a way of life. You don't seek validation, crave company, or look for approval from others. Your inner world is your sanctuary, a fortress where you find strength and contentment on your own terms. While many people rely on others for a sense of worth or direction, you're different. Your sense of self doesn't hinge on what others think or say. You're comfortable being alone, and you actually thrive in solitude. Your happiness and confidence come from within, not from external sources. This self-reliance means you're not easily swayed by outside opinions or pressures. You make decisions based on what feels right for you, not on what others expect. Your inner world is rich and fulfilling enough that you don't need constant reinforcement from the outside. You're not just surviving. You're flourishing on your own, secure in the knowledge that you don't need anyone else to validate your existence or choices. In a world that often seeks approval and validation from others, your ability to remain grounded and self-sufficient is a rare and powerful strength. It's not just about being independent. It's about being content and whole within yourself, no matter what's happening around you. Number two, you live with a low tolerance for nonsense. You have a razor sharp filter for nonsense and your patience for small talk, drama, and trivial issues is extremely limited. When it comes to conversations or situations that don't serve a real purpose, you quickly lose interest. You cut through the clutter with ease, focusing only on what truly matters to you. While others might get caught up in gossip or minor details, you prefer to zero in on what's significant. You don't waste time on idle chatter or melodrama, you're all about substance. Your ability to bypass the fluff and stick to what's essential is a testament to how you prioritize your energy and attention. In a world full of distractions and superficial concerns, you stay grounded and focused. This means you're often seen as straightforward or even blunt, but it's all part of your commitment to keeping things meaningful. You know that life is too short to spend on nonsense, so you invest your time and energy in what truly matters ensuring that your interactions and efforts are always purposeful. Number one, you're intimidatingly honest. You're known for your brutally honest nature, and it's a defining part of who you are. You don't sugarcoat your words or actions just to make others feel comfortable. Your honesty cuts straight to the heart of the matter. And while it can sometimes be unsettling, it serves a powerful purpose. When you speak or act, you do so with a level of clarity and truthfulness that many find intimidating. This isn't about being harsh for the sake of it. It's about maintaining authenticity in a world that often deals in half-truths and facades. Your straightforwardness helps you sift through the noise and identify what's real and what's not. People who can't handle your level of honesty may find themselves uncomfortable, but that's part of your process. You're not interested in engaging with superficiality or pretense. Instead, you value genuine connections and honest interactions. By being unapologetically real, you create a space where only the most authentic relationships can flourish. It's not always easy, but your commitment to truth ensures that you surround yourself with what truly matters. Being a true lone wolf is about more than just enjoying time alone. It's about embracing a unique way of living that reflects your deep inner world and personal principles. You don't follow the crowd or seek validation from others. Instead, you navigate life with a clear sense of self and purpose, driven by your own values and insights. From your selective social interactions to your personal rituals and self-sufficiency, you embody a distinct way of being that's not easily understood by others. You thrive in solitude, Manage your energy with precision, and cut through the noise to focus on what truly matters to you. Silence is your sanctuary, and you deal with conflicting thoughts with a sense of resolve that sets you apart. If these signs resonate with you, it's a testament to your strength and individuality. Being a true lone wolf means embracing your own path with confidence and understanding that your unique perspective and way of life are what define you. So. Celebrate these traits, 
They're not just markers of who you are, but strengths that make you exceptional in a world full of conformity. Thanks for tuning in, Rare Gems. Bye for now and see you in the next video. Take care.